In this tutorial, we are going to look at the uh, setting UCS using these icons and also we will look at uh, these two icons. If you are an AutoCAD user, you should be familiar with all these icons. This one simply sets the UCS to World Coordinate System. So that's the uh, UCS now. So if I press that, the UCS is reset to 00, zero World Coordinate System this uh, icon asks you to pick uh, three points the origin the x and the y so i say click that as origin x and the y so the ucs is set like that so if i want to set somewhere else let me try here origin x and y so the ucs is set like that now this tool sets the UCS to the current view. So right now, let me put the UCS icon on. So I can also do it from the view menu. And uh, this button sets the UCS to the view. So it's already parallel to the view. Now let me rotate the view a little bit and then set that. You can see the UCS now is set to this view. If I go to the plan view, that's the view I see. Plan view on the current UCS. That's the view I see. But this is normally used along with the view cube. So let me set it to world coordinate system. Plan plan view based on the current UCS. Then let me go to the front view. And now I want to set the UCS parallel to this particular front view. So this is an easy tool. So just click that. And now you can see the X and Y has turned to parallel to the current view. This tool sets the UCS to the current view. So right now, let me put the UCS icon on. So I can also do it from the view menu. And uh, this button sets the UCS to the view. So it's already parallel to the view. Now let me rotate the view a little bit and then set that you can see the UCS now is set to this view if I go to the plan view that's the view I see plan view on the current UCS that's the view I see but this is normally used along with the view cube so let me set it to world coordinate system plan plan view based on the current UCS then let me go to the front view and now I want to set the UCS parallel to this particular front view so this is an easy tool so just click that and now you can see the X and Y has turned to parallel to the current view I could not figure out the behavior of this particular tool properly I click on that one and select uh, a curved beam and then press enter the UCS icon is put at the point I have clicked and one of the axes passes through the center of this curved beam. How I use it is to find the center of the curved beam. Then what I do is I rotate the coordinate system around X axis. Then draw a line starting from 0, 0 line starting from 0, 0 make sure the ortho is on and that line will pass through the center so if I do that again at some other point and then again rotate that use coordinate system and then go line 0 comma 0 and then draw a line now that is the center of uh, this curved beam so I draw a circle from this point to here you can see that is matching with the curve beam. This tool puts the x-axis parallel to the bisecting line of two lines. So let's try to use that one. So click on that button, pick the origin point, then you have to pick the direction of uh, z axis and then you pick two points on the line where you want to bisect so this is one point and there's a second point and you can see the UCS is now set 
in such a way that the x axis is parallel to the bisecting line which is which were the two original lines where one is that the other is that and this one is the bisecting line let's try that uh, at that point so i am going to click that button origin point that's a is a direction that's the first point on that line as the second point on another line and then the x-axis is parallel to the bisecting line the 45 degrees and 45 degrees this tool moves the origin point of the current coordinate system to the point where you click so I click on click that point and see the this is the current coordinate system is that stuck to my cursor so wherever I click that becomes the origin point this tool moves the origin point of the current coordinate system to the point where you click so I click on click that point and see the this is the current coordinate system is that stuck to my cursor so wherever I click that becomes the origin point so I do that again that becomes the origin point I click that again that becomes origin point that is if I accept I can rotate it so let me do that and then if I see the x axis is attached to my cursor so wherever I click so I can go like that and uh, that becomes the x axis point okay. these three tools you will be using quite a lot so what it does is it just rotates the UCS around each of these axes by 90 degrees so if I click on that it rotates the UCS around X axis by 90 degrees I click again it rotates again let's me rotate around Z axis so you can see that this is uh, very useful and you must know very clearly what it actually does the last set of tools we are going to look at is this X Y Z and dot X Y filters Becoming fluent in use of these these icons will save you a heap of time while working 3D. I have created a set of beams here in a 3D space and uh, not all like the same RL. They are at different levels and I will demonstrate the use of these buttons uh, using this little model to complete a bit of a line work. So what I want to do here is I want to come horizontally across here until I hit the X coordinate of this beam and then come along the Y axis until I hit the Y coordinate of this beam and then come straight up. All right, let's do that. So I click the beam button. I'll select this point. Now I want the X coordinate of uh, this beam. So I'm going to click this button. So what happens here is the Y and Z coordinates of the second point is the same as the first point. So it is prom prompting me only for an X coordinate. So I'm going to click this point and see that beam line has come up to here horizontally and uh, has taken the X coordinate of the point I clicked I'm going to press space bar and accept and that beam is created now let me create a beam which is going from here to the underside of this beam that is this I want to come up to the Y coordinate of this point so go again start from here this time I'm going to click Y and uh, click that point and then accept so that's the Y coordinate now I'm going to go for the Z coordinate so selected that point and then Z and this point and accept so you can see that is created like that you can try this out and if you become fluent with this then you will save a lot of time instead of resetting user coordinate systems 
changing views etc etc hi guys thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe